What's up everybody, King of Fumo here coming at you with your daily crypto update. Today we have an exciting video to talk about. It's actually kind of interesting and weird at the same time. The valueless coins on Pulse Chain now have a little bit of value. So this video is gonna be important for all of you guys, whether you're Pulse Chain fanatics or whether you have never touched Pulse Chain, you don't even know what it is, uh, you can definitely get some money here on Pulse Chain. So this is the way that it works. About a month and some change ago, so um, if you had any coins on the Ethereum blockchain, whether that be Ethereum, USDC, Pepe, Link, anything on the Ethereum blockchain on your wallet uh, a month and some change ago, then you have those exact same coins copied over on Pulse Chain. Now, when Pulse Chain launched, we all sort of were under the impression that these copied coins would be basically valueless because, I mean, they're just, you just doubled your money. You doubled your bags, essentially. So where does the backing for that money come from? Well, it doesn't come from anywhere. So that's why those coins were previously completely valueless. You could have 10,000 Ethereum on your wallet, and if your 10,000 Ethereum copied over here on Pulse Chain, then it would be worth maybe one or two dollars, which is a pretty much nothing compared to the 10,000 Ethereum on the Ethereum blockchain. Well, that's all changed in the past couple of days, and we'll get into the reasons why in this video as well. Uh, but one uh, coin I want to do for an example, just to show you guys, is uh, Matic or the Polygon token. So right now, Polygon's sitting at about 70 cents on the Ethereum blockchain. Not too shabby. So again, if you have had any Polygon tokens when that um, when that snapshot took place, uh, you can see that, let's just say that you had a thousand Matic tokens. A thousand Matic tokens would be approximately $700 uh, on the Ethereum blockchain. Well, you just got yourself a free about $6 over here on Pulse Chain. So you can bridge over, take this $6, exchange this uh, Matic for Pulse, and be on your merry way. And that's the case with a lot of these other tokens too. Matic is an example where the, the coin actually isn't up you know, a crazy amount. Some other coins have gone up pretty crazy amounts over the past couple of days. So let's take a look at some of those. Um, we have a chain link right here, Pepe. Chain link is sitting at about nine cents right here on Pulse Chain. So that's copied chain link. If you had it on Ethereum, you also have it on um, on Pulse Chain. So chain link is sitting at six dollars and fifty cents. So again. Uh, still about 100x less, but you know, if you had yourself a nice chunky bag, value is value, and exchanging over here on Pulse Chain um, is pennies, right? So it's not like you're gonna pay a $50 gas fee to exchange that <laughs> to get the free $5 in whatever coins you have. Uh, so definitely pay attention to it. So that's Chainlink. Um, other coins that have done really well is Wrapped Bitcoin. That's been, that was the first one that really took off. Wrapped BTC uh, over here on Pulse. That's about worth $128. So if you had one Bitcoin on um, one wrapped Bitcoin on Ethereum, then your wrapped Bitcoin over here on uh, Pulse Chain is worth uh, $128. And you can see some of the other coins are taken off too. Uh, so the difference that you need to to notice when you're looking over here on, on Pulse Chain is these from Ethereum tokens, that's when you bridge it over, right? So that, that doesn't really count. What, <laughs> what I'm talking about is the coins that have been copied over. So this is Chainlink token that's been copied over, and this is Chainlink token that's been bridged over. And you can see the price difference right here. This is real Chainlink, $6.53. This is fake chain link, which is worth nine cents, but you can still get value out of that, which is really, really nice. Um, and, and you guys go ahead and head on, head on over to Dex Screener. I'll leave the, um, well, I'm not gonna leave the link in the description. You guys can find yourself. Go over to Dex Screener and uh, look, look for some of these other coins. If, you, if you're curious as to whether or not your coin has value, you might be able to find it on here. The ones that right now, uh, that we can see just off the top of this page that have value. Chainlink that copied over that currently has value. Pepe that copied over it has value. Obviously, Hex has value. Um, Wrapped BTC, even coins like USDC worth a small amount, and, and USDT is also worth a small amount um, over here on Pulse Chain. But you can kind of scroll down this list and see if your coin is on here. And what some people are doing actually is they're, <laughs> they're scooping up some of the. Uh, 
some of these coins because because they're up quite a bit, right? I mean, look at this. The chain link token is up 78%. If you would have bought some chain link yesterday over here on Pulse Chain, you'd be up 78%. So um, it might be a good opportunity to snag just a little bit of these coins. I wouldn't go too crazy, especially you, you got to be careful with impermanent loss, right? If the liquidity is not there, you're going to get crushed, right? But you know, these coins have some pretty good liquidity. Now, the reason why this is happening, ladies and gentlemen, and <laughs> should you hold on to these tokens is the question, is because of this. So if we go over to the farms right here for Pulse X, um, they've added some farms for the useless copy tokens, right? Your Pepe paired with Pepe, real Pepe paired with fake Pepe is going to give you 16% APR, right? So people are scooping up some fake Pepe, pairing it up and getting some free free sweet sweet divvies over here on the uh, Pulsex farm. Same with uh, Rap BTC um, paired with I think um, Ethereum, Rap BTC, okay that's, that's that's an old one but they have other ones here too. This is this is what I'm looking for. Rap BTC from Ethereum paired with Rap BTC. Um, you know that's your fake BTC versus real BTC on Ethereum. And they're adding more of these farms as time goes on and, and what people are trying to do is they're trying to front run and um, buy some of these tokens before they're listed on this farm because what's happening is uh, the second that these coins get listed on this farm for APR they get bought up like crazy and that's when you have a 78 percent 80 percent 90 percent um run up in one day with some of these fake copy coins now what does this mean in the long run what does king of fun think about these coins do you think you should buy and hold these things forever do you think you should buy you know tens of thousands of dollars of these tokens no i do think that this is all uh, a marketing ploy right and that's not a bad thing but it's um another reason to get people to check out pulse chain to move over to pulse chain to use it and see what it's all about uh do i think that copy tokens are going to have actual value in the long run you know a year from now i don't think so i i, I just don't see that happening <laughs> But uh, will people be more interested in Pulse Chain over the next couple of days if they see that their token, you know, they got free money and they're going to come over here and, and get some free money or mess around with the system and, and get some APR? Yes, I do think that this is going to be a successful sort of marketing opportunity for Pulse Chain. Anyway, check it out for yourself. There's your chance for free value. Whether you have um, Pulse or if you've not touched Pulse Chain at all or if you're anywhere in between, you can definitely... Um, I, I would I would keep looking at this for the next couple of days because even if you have coins that are still valueless over here on Pulse Chain, they might become valuable soon. So you know, keep an eye out for that. All right, guys, that is everything for today. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you're not a Patreon member, consider becoming a Patreon member to get access to my Discord where we can you can ask me questions about stuff. Hopefully, I'll be talking about things like um my caspa miner and stuff like that soon once it comes in the mail and uh yeah we'll stay up to date over there all right guys catch you in the next video peace out